Hello, Salesforce peeps. How are you doing? Welcome to another episode of May the S Force Be With You. Uh, in our last screencast, we went over kind of an introduction to the Force.com um, platform, just kind of showed you the user interface, um, showed you the home page and the start here page, um, and kind of walked you through a basic report and uh, the general background. Apologize for the uh, background noise. I'm in a local bookstore. Um, going through some goodies, like I showed you last time, the mouse. And um, um, actually, speaking of Python, let's go ahead and introduce you to some web services API stuff here. I'm going to... Um, show you first, now I guess first things first, I'm going to take you to www.pocketsoap.com forward slash beatbox. Um, this is a, an open source um, module for Python that allows you to access the salesforce.com API and um, you can download that right down here. I'm not going to walk you through the whole installation of a module. Um, you can find that on a Python page, but um, on a Mac, I wasn't able to really get Beatbox fully installed. Uh, I just copied the beatbox.py and xmltramp.py files um, into site packages. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, Google some stuff on installing Python modules, or just uh, find out where um, where it, copy another module. Um, install another module and uh, see how that installs and where it goes to. So, long story short, I uh, let's go to CD programming, um, Python, Salesforce, I believe. All right, export tutor address list. We're gonna make a um, um, uh, login to Salesforce.py file. What am I gonna put here? I'm gonna put. Um, um, let's see. Print enter your login. All right. Comma cuz I don't want it to um make a new line and then we're going to do my login equals raw input. All right. Now, here's the problem. Oh. I want to import get pass. This is just a module in the standard library for Python that, um, and I just Googled this five minutes ago. It allows you to uh, turn echo off when you're getting a password. So now how I'm going to access this is uh, get pass, which is the module, dot get pass, which is the f f uh, function inside of the get pass module. Get pass takes a parameter of a prompt, so I can put enter um, password here in the parameter for that function, and that's going to read in your password. I probably want to uh, put my pass equals get pass, and that's all I really want this to do. This is kind of like a little basic script. Log into Salesforce.py, and that way. I can start up Python. I'm in the directory where this uh, Python script is. So I'm going to start up Python. Uh, I'm going to import Beatbox. And again, worst case scenario, you can download the Beatbox zip. And uh, as long as you're running Python interpreter from the directory where you have beatbox.py and xmltramp.py installed. Um, which is the only dependency for Beatbox. You'll be able to use this even if it's not properly installed. Okay, so I imported Beatbox. Um, this is just taken directly off of this um, sample right here. Okay. Or at least this part right here. Okay. Um, SF equals Beatbox dot underscore T partner NS. Okay. SVC equals beatbox dot client. Okay, this kind of creates a session, and now we're going to log in. Uh, 
this is going to store my pass and my login import login to salesforce that's going to look in the current directory excellent okay uh what's my login may the s force be with you at gmail.com enter your password um ah oh, crap Now, I'm going to svc.log... Mm. I like to save the login response. When I do this, it'll log you in, but you'll lose like this, uh, this XML response when you log in. So I'm going to do this. Login response. And that way, whatever it sends to me is the response to that. I'll save svc.login, and you're going to enter your password. Um, I'm going to print out my login, at least. Let's print... Login to Salesforce dot my login. Good. Okay, just making sure. Because that's going to be a variable of that module. So my login and my pass are going to be variables of that module, right? Login response equals login SVC dot login. What's the login? Login to Salesforce dot my login login to salesforce dot my pass okay and go now what's this ah login must use security token unfortunately I don't know how to get the current security token like right when you start your account um, if anybody knows how to do this that would be awesome please tell me how here's how do you reset your security token and for all of, for all I know get it for the first time also click your name up here in the upper right select setup go over here and under my personal information you're gonna click reset my security token it's gonna send that to you to your email address um, okay see that you're gonna get your security token and you're gonna enter your full password and then put in the security token concatenated right up against that. So I'm going to pause you real quick and I'm going to go get that from my email and paste that into my password when I enter it into the script. Pause. Alright folks, so I've um, not only got my security token on my clipboard but I've also made this module name a little shorter. Alright, so let's go ahead and start up our interpreter again. I'm going to import beatbox. Um, I would always recommend using this with um, Python 2.x. I know a lot of things aren't supported in 3.x 3, 3 uh, currently. So import beatbox. Okay, now I'm going to import um, login to SF. Okay, it's going to ask me for my login. Okay, enter your login, enter password, it's going to be my password plus my security token. Enter. Excellent. I think I stored that. Now here's the thing. Um, login response is a variable of um, login to SF. So, I want to initialize this. SVC equals beatbox.client. Now, a lot of this I don't know the complete innards of. For instance, um, is that partner namespace, does that not allow you to get to the enterprise WSDL? If you know about that yet, I'm not sure. Um, we'll cover that in some future video. I'm just copying a lot of this. Okay, so login response equals svc dot login. What's the username password that belongs to this separate module? Login to sf dot my login. Login to sf dot my pass, and this will take 
I'm going to log us in and give us that response into login dot res login response. Okay, look at that. No news is good news. Um, so let's do this. Now I'm logged in to this uh, instance of Salesforce. All right. I'm going to look at the login response first. Um, I'm running close to the 10 minute mark here, so I'll show you this real quick. Um, what is login response, right? It's a result. Okay. Print login response. Okay. For X in login response. Print X. Okay. So it's got um, mm, one, two, well, how do we count this? For X, uh, I equals uh, one. For X in login response. Um, um, print I comma X. Let's put a space in there. Mm, comma separation gives a space. Print I comma X. That's all. Wow. Can you believe it? I equals I plus one. VBA makes you uh, forget all the uh, iterator shortcuts. Beautiful. So we've got one, two, three, four, five entries in that login response. I'm going to go ahead and continue this in a next video. So I'm going to sign off for now and continue to show you what you can do in the Beatbox interface uh, with Salesforce. I can use my keyboard shortcut to stop.